talk. But Bank of India is the other one we're looking at this morning. Abhishek is here to tell us why. Abhishek, over to you. Uh, well, uh, good morning, Sonia. So to begin with, you know, slippages are coming back uh, into banking sector, especially with respect to PSU banks, wherein agri and SME slippages are the talk points of Q4 FI24 results. So slippages have increased 55.5% sequentially. The annualized slippage ratio is at 1.45% versus 0.97% in the previous quarter. The annualized credit cost is at 12 quarter high at about 1.45% versus 0.45% in the previous quarter. Return on asset on account of elevated uh, provision is uh, at five quarter low of 0.61 percent versus 0.81 percent in the previous quarter advances growth yoy it's one of the best in last uh, four quarters coming in at 15.9 percent so the ni growth has held up uh, quite well seven and a half percent growth yoy at about 8.65 percent sequentially the other income again all the psu banks are seeing a fair gain with respect to uh, uh, their uh, for uh, you know uh, treasury income so uh, that is also provided a cushion on the NPA provisions that they have done this time around. So NPA provisions have increased 274% YOY and about 234% sequentially. We are uh, seeing a profit uh, decline of 23% quarter on quarter, which is weighing on the sentiments of investors today. Back to you. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot uh, for that, uh, Abhishek.